we are live. All right, guys, how are you doing? What is up? What are you doing in your self isolation? Hope you're keeping sane because I'm definitely not. Um, this is just a reaction to two of my favorite YouTubers, Drew Geordie and uh, Lawrence McKenna. Um, basically, Drew Geordie, um, he's, it's like he reacts to stuff basically. They're, they're a reaction channel and their reaction to this whole coronavirus has been quite entertaining actually. I mean it's a serious issue but the, when they spin it, the way they spin it is always funny. Wh whatever issue they're talking about and I just want to show that to you guys. I mean y you probably know of them already. Uh, in terms of UK YouTube they're up there. Merch like three years ago, I never thought I'd have merch, let alone this many subscribers or a YouTube channel that still functioned. And you would know that know him from the uh, KSI Logan Paul fights or the, the moment when KSI called out any of the Pauls, the Paul brothers, whoever. Uh, from that moment, yeah, Drew Geordie really became another level of celebrity on YouTube. It's funny just to see, because you, you can you can see he clearly cares. And Brian, Drew Geordie is just cracking up, like, as, as, as one of them always does. It's like, like I said, good cop, bad cop. So let's see a bit of that in action. This is also Pat Butcher, the American version, who just so happens to be president of the United States. And he has basically the dates where he's dismissed the COVID virus. We think we have it very well under control. Yeah. We pretty much shut it down coming in from China. Oh, you know, really? in April, supposedly, it dies with a hotter weather. When it gets warm, uh, historically, that has been able yeah, to kill the virus. People are getting better. They're all getting better. And the 15 within yeah. a couple of days is going to be down to close to zero. It's going to disappear. One day, it's like a miracle. It will disappear. Yeah. That was one of my favorite quotes. He goes, it's like a miracle. It will disappear. I was like, well, where are you getting this Donald, stuff from? Miracle this is amazing. Going anywhere yeah, anywhere that's him. Soon. Yeah. Rewrote it. It's really working out. And a lot of good things are going to happen. And we are responding with great speed and professionalism. It's going to go away. Yeah, no, I don't take responsibility at all. We're going to all be great. We're going to be so good. This came up, it, it we came up so suddenly. This is a pandemic. I felt it was a pandemic long yeah. before it was called a pandemic. All you had to do is look at other countries. Yeah, I felt it was a pandemic. <laughs> How anyone can You're defend this? Pandemic. You are. From a month before when he was like, nah, this is nothing. Now he's calling it a pandemic. What are you on about, mate? You're a bullshitter. He You're a liar. It. He called it from the start. He said this pandemic will die out yeah. and very few people will get it. But yeah. it could also be a pandemic. Lots of people could die or no people could die. Yeah, I see that. See, he's like, oh yeah, I knew. It was a pandemic. From the beginning, I knew that. No, you didn't. You were saying, oh, I will go away in no time. From the day one, yeah, he did. Seeing so, you know, it, pandemic. The coronavirus, you know that, right? Coronavirus, and this is their new hoax. He called it a hoax. In many ways, Brian, it is a hoax. In many ways. Wait, what? What? It's conspiracies for sure, but it does exist. Mm, like I can't what? think of the ways right now, but it is a hoax. We're 15 people in this massive country, and because of the fact that we went early, we went early, we could have had a lot more than that. We're doing great. Our country is doing um, so great. Yeah, what does when, when early mean, right Lawrence? When early? Well, I'm not surprised the ne next press conference isn't literally like, yeah, we're all gonna die. We're all dead. Um, <laughs> Each of us. Yeah, I said it though, yeah, we'd all die. Yeah. Yeah. But the main thing is, we're gonna die in America. We're yeah. gonna die better than the rest of them. We'll die free, and that's what's important. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> we'll all die free. Yeah. Someone's not been well. I've been quite ill, mm. uh, as you may be able to tell by the sound of my voice, but we are back, motherfuckers. I suppose you guys are wondering at home what it was like to sit so close to someone who suffered from COVID-19. Genuinely, oh, you, that, um, that was that. my moment now. It was harrowing to sit so close to someone who was suffering so badly, but I had to make it through, and you can too. We, di we didn't know. If you also have to look after a loved one like I did, then please yeah. reach didn't out. look after I look me. Up, really? Look at you. Do you, you look didn't fine look after there? Me. Do you look yes. fine there? You patted me on the shoulder. That was as far as it went. Uh, and that was that was just all the people saw on camera, Brian. Think of everything that happened off camera. Nothing. Now, as a percentage, we that multiplied was it. 100%. that. That was 100%. I think I got you delivery a couple of times as well. I think I bought delivery on 
the day when I came over and you were coughing. <gasps> and not covering your mouth, I'll, I'll add. It happened at the beginning Should... of February. No one was talking about it then. Not even Donald Trump. Well, he was Look, just saying we've it, seen the calendar. He was just saying it was Brian. He at was the, saying it was fine. Uh, at the time, obviously, we all thought it was a hoax. Uh, genuinely, yeah. if I'd have known all this shit a month ago, mm. I would have been a lot more careful around you. How does it feel to know, that though, delivery. that you have been ill with a hoax? Didn't feel like a hoax when I was fucking sweating bullets in the bed. But it was a hoax. So felt you, very real You've had me. a fake illness. It felt real. You've had a fake illness. Oh, definitely felt real. You're a liar and a cheat. Similarly yeah, to sense. Donald Trump, the American media also haven't really been getting this accurate. Haven't nailed the it's message. Uh, we've what got basically know. dates and, you know, the before and afters. At worst, worst case scenario, it could be the flu. I feel like the more I learn about this, the less there is to worry about. I was about to say the same thing. We don't have fight. immunity to this virus. It's a Very new fight. virus. It's a pandemic strain of a virus we haven't seen before. Brilliant. That was literally nine days later. It's just like the flu. And then the guy goes, the more I hear about it, the less I worry about it. Right? Come on, guys. Because <laughs> being better informed means you won't get the virus. Yeah. The more you know about it, the less I worry. Yeah. All the talk about coronavirus being so much more no, deadly no, no. doesn't reflect reality. Yeah. Without a you vaccine, mind, the flu would be far more deadly. We are facing an incredibly contagious and dangerous virus. <laughs> <laughs> Love those guys over at Fox News. God bless Nailing America. the news on a daily basis. So in America, what? every year... Yeah. They ha uh, guys, here is the bit that I've been building up to. The funniest bit that I can't stop laughing. Like the reaction to Boris. I, obviously, I hope he gets better and gets back to every night updating us because it's like I don't know a tradition now everyone's like tuning in to see what Boris is saying instead of like Love Island both terrible YouTube see if what about Boris what, what, what should we bring about to the UK well there you go this is a disease that is so dangerous and so infectious that without drastic measures to check its progress it would overwhelm any health system in the world and I, I've used the Italian health system it is excellent it's a weird flex isn't it i've used the italian health system <laughs> There's it times like where, as people, we have to just switch off from the shit at times. But when they start saying serious things, I, I go, oh, fuck. Oh, like, like, you know what I mean? Like, fuck, he's right. I, he's I, right. I do go, oh. He's right three weeks late, but he's right now. Yeah. At least he's right now. It this guy fucking, a couple of weeks ago, was just like, we just need to flatten the sombrero. Squash that. Uh, if you're calling it a sombrero, how can you take it serious? A sombrero ain't very dangerous. Sombrero. When everyone was like, yeah, just flatten the sombrero. And now he's like, Ash is really fucking serious. So, um, <laughs> like the, there'll be no sombreros for you like, anytime yeah, soon. Yeah, exactly. Okay? Yeah. Although, no flights. For a homebody like me, this is sort of, um, really, I'm just staying in all the time. It's yeah. like, yeah. It's really just that you don't get me to come over anymore. That's the only thing. That is now. annoying that. I yeah. quite like so that. that. You think it's annoying? Yeah, because I like you coming over. Right. But um, for people who like to go traveling, that this must be a real fucker. Yes, it is. Self isolation. They're still doing videos. Or well, maybe now they're not, but still, like, as a YouTuber, when you you got, like, a whole group, it's hard to keep up with the videos and keep safe in this situation. Um, especially if you're out filming. Well, now you can't. So you're confined to indoors anyway. Rather a fucker for us. Sort of makes me laugh a little bit. Really? Dude. You won't be laughing when you got Corona coming out your ass, will you, mate? <laughs> In reality, obviously, I'd rather you guys be able to travel. Yeah, you'd, uh, lo but, you'd love that. But if there is a byproduct of this horrible, shitty situation, yeah. knowing how fucked off all of these people who like to get, travel vloggers get away. Because yeah. I, I think a lot of people use travel as an escape from real oh, yeah. life. I definitely and do. Yeah. Always Holidays for that. They'll like build up all year to that moment. I mean, True Joy's going to say something similar. But, um,. Yeah, I mean, this whole corona thing is ruin is threatening to ruin my summer holiday, as in I might have to cancel going to Italy, and that's going to be really annoying for me and for the vlog. Um, but we'll see. Otherwise, I'll just be here, rolling around London. But then, again, I don't really want to go on the bus. A bit risky nowadays, isn't it? Once everything opens up, we'll see. Sort of fucks me off a bit. I'm always like, oh, look here. Oh, living for your holiday. Yeah. Is that, and they spend the entire fucking year living for one week of the bastard year. Mm. And it's like, oh, that week's gone now. How about you? Well, in my case, three weeks. <laughs> but yeah, like, what about the rest of your year? It's reality. No oh, joke. there goes gravity. Oh, well done, Eminem. But you choked. Ultimately, 
To beat this crisis, we will need a combination of better science. You know what we're going to need for this? We're going to need some better science. <sighs> yeah. Fuck, we're going to need better science. Better science. Oh, Can anyone shit. bring some of that better science in, please? Mr. Fuck. Swinburne didn't teach us that much in school, mate. Yeah. Sorry, bro. I'm really annoyed because I've left my better science at home today. Fucking better science. This guy's a fucking muppet. We will need a combination of better science, technology, medicine, data, government operations, economic support, learning from other countries, and social support. What he's basically saying is we need a brand new fucking country. Like, what we need is a new thing, because we fucked it up so bad, we're going to need to completely reset here, guys. Sorry, all the stuff that we're meant to be building for, yeah, we got distracted yeah. by leaving need, the EU, we need and now better science, better science and economic you support. fucking blonde it's fucking Miss Piggy in a fucking wig. <laughs> Sorry, guys, but all the stuff that we've been thinking we should prep for, we got a bit distracted because of our fucking egos, yeah? Thankfully, we can still go fishing. We will need a combination of better science. I'm just going to look at... I think there's some better science that I left in, in the back of the living room, Brian. Right, He's really taking this badly. Good, good one. Uh, I think I left my bed. There's fuck all my Chris! <laughs> you fucking moron! Uh. There's no better science anywhere! <laughs> We're just going to pull better... Better science, are you fucking fat ass? <laughs> Better science, my ass. <laughs> oh. Jesus. It gets me every time, guys. Anyway, guys, that's just a short video for today. I'll be back with a podcast soon, or soon enough. Whatever day of the isolation this is, or week, I don't even know. But enjoy the videos, guys. They'll keep coming. As long as you keep watching, I've got 99 of you following me, subscribed. We need one more, and we're going to get to 100. And I can feel that we're going to do it soon. Well, it better be, because I want to celebrate. Got to celebrate something. There's been nothing to celebrate for ages. i been stuck at home. But thank you, guys, for being here. I love you, guys. I'm Louise. I can't even say my own name. You know who I am anyway. I'm Louise21 and it's me signing off. Peace.